Hello, this is the Linux Gamer, and we are basically where we left off last time. I did do some organization, but I think the next thing I should do for progression is mining. And I think to do that, I will do a time lapse. Alright, so as you saw in the two time lapses I went mining and 
the end result is stack of iron ore and then 52 more but yeah I got shot so I did that second time lapse getting my stuff back I think I maybe missed a few items when I actually picked it up since I was in a hurry and then I managed to throw my sword in lava while I was trying to switch items on the way back but overall this has been a reasonably successful mine trip I also got two gold ore but no real reason to smelt that now if you ask me so Overall, could have gone better, but hey, at least I still have my stuff. Alright then, I've had a little think about what to do next, and well, I think it's probably not a bad idea to go exploring. I should probably actually mine and try and get diamonds, but I don't really give a crap about frost progression at this point. Also, I need a new sword since the last one died in lava. Just gonna pick down the coordinates of this place in the likely event that I get lost. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this iron right now. I think for now I'll just finish the armor. Start stashing the rest. Spread with me too. And I think I'll just walk in a straight line from my house. That should want to be getting lost, right? Mm, provided I don't get stuck in this forest. Oh crap. Good start. And the skeleton down there. Yeah, I don't think I want to deal with that. I guess I did forget to mention that, unlike the last Toshinka single player survival, this one is in normal difficulty instead of hard. I have learned my lesson about playing in hard. Almost at the distance from homeward. Feel comfortable killing random animals. Not sure of that yet. Mm, yeah, why not? I don't know how long you want to get this expedition going for, but it can't hurt to have an extra food stash, right? Oh, that. Oh goodness, that is a big ravine. That is a very big ravine, full of creepers apparently. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Some mountains. Over here, not that much interesting stuff so far, however. Spruce forest over there. Sugar cane, I can just collect. Sure, I do go through a lot of sugar cane a lot of the time. I do want a wide, a wide range of wood types available, though. We have dark oak, regular oak, and birch near my house, but might as well just grab some spruce saplings and then over by the spruce forest. Now I love this data pack. Okay, I think I found 
something interesting, finally. The straight line tactic has brought me to a village. Um, I'm hoping when I actually go to the nether, the nether spawn is pretty decent, because I think I should probably set up another hub so I can get to this village faster and or kidnap the villagers and just bring them to my own place. Also, there's a lectern here. This will be very important. If I had emeralds already, in fact, I could probably abuse the crap out of this, but I don't. There's a church over there, so we can snag a broken stand, which could be helpful, who knows. What's this building? It's just a house. I think it does have a chest, and I'll actually take those apples, since golden apples are always good to have, especially if I, I want to the zombie conversion, deconversion trick thing to get discounts, but yeah. Also just a house with a few emeralds, interesting. Honestly, if I find, say, 10 emeralds or so, I mean, I doubt that would be enough since I don't have high popularity with these villagers or whatever, but say if I had like 40 emeralds somehow, then I would maybe be able to pull my favorite export. Ooh, that is nice. We got a free blast furnace from these guys. And it's turning to night, so I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna start working my way home, because I don't want the zombies to just murder everyone in that village. So I'm maybe gonna take a slightly more circuitous route home, partially to avoid the villagers all getting murdered, but also in hopes that I might find some map, not bread, but also in hopes that I might find other cool stuff. Okay, so good news is a ruined portal there, bad news, I looked at an underman, so yeah, this will be fun. for the minute. Right, there he is. If he doesn't drop an under pearl after all this, I'm gonna be annoyed. I am annoyed. Right, let's check out the spore hole then. Okay, game is making fun of me, good to see. Don't really think I need all this uh oh. Oh crap, I think there's another skeleton around here. Yep. Well, I hope there wasn't anything else interesting in that chest. I don't really want to look in there again if I'm going to get shot all oh, looking through a chest. Right. Nope, nothing interesting. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, I couldn't resist. I just love looking at Enderman, it seems. Hopefully this one will drop a pearl, at least. Nope. Oh, like four seconds later, another one shows up. I don't know the heck not. Okay, this may have been a bad plan. There's a skeleton standing by the river, and I do not like that. Oh, great, he's following me. Okay, come down, and a baby zombie, and a baby zombie. Okay, this was a bad idea. This was just unconditionally a terrible idea. This is what you get for being ready for underpearls, of all things. Where did Bandicoat even? Oh, he's over there. I think he lost a aggro. 
Well, sir, I'm not going to be humiliated by your kind again. Oh, great, there are two baby zombies and a skeleton. Three baby. Where are all these baby zombies coming from? Also, I think I just heard the Enderman death. Oh, no, 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 he's still alive. Okay, Operation Run Like a Lunatic is go. I'm glad I took down the coordinates since I'll probably need them. No under pearl. And still being pursued by an army of baby zombies. Dang it, I would like to kill these cows, but I think staying alive is more important. Nope, not falling for that one again. No sir. No sir. Okay, oh my goodness, that was annoying. And what do I have to show for it? Actually, quite a bit. I stole the lectern, that's important. Got some books, also important. This blast furnace is actually an incredible find. We're gonna stick that to the wall right away. Um, what else? Got a bit of meat. Might as well cook all that up right now. Photography table could be nice. One more sugar cane, which is nice. Brewing stand is nice. Grass block is maybe nice. Emeralds are nice. Spruce saplings are nice. Bit of leather is always good. Bunch of apples, apparently. Overall, this was probably one of the more successful trips I've made. Well, I mean, I haven't made pretty much any trips in this series so far, but yeah, whatever. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to cram into this episode. Um, stick this to the wall as well, why not? But, yeah, I think for now, things are pretty solid. So, in that case, thank you for watching. Goodbye.